Now let's talk about some sample closing techniques to help you be more successful in the closing process. We have also included several proven closing techniques to help you be successful. We recommend that you find the closing technique that works best for you and just stick with it. Now, let me go through a few sample closing techniques that really are successful. First of all, the obligation close. This is a simple close that illustrates how the risk of protecting an individual's loved ones can be shifted to an insurance company instead of the family, and this is why we call it the obligation close. Now, after you've determined the amount of life insurance protection that's needed, you simply say, you have identified that in order to protect your loved ones from the sudden financial burden of your death, the funds that are needed are in the amount of $15,000 to cover your debts and any other final expenses. Currently, that is your obligation. With life insurance, your obligation becomes our obligation. The life insurance obligation now becomes the $15,000, and your obligation becomes $50 per month or whatever premium amount that you're proposing. This simple closing technique shows that you change the obligation from them to the insurance company. Next is the live, die, or quit close. This is an effective method of communicating the value of permanent life insurance using the live, die, or quit close. You start out by saying, you know, whenever you start this life insurance policy, there are just three things that can happen, and this plan will take care of all three. Number one, you will live to see your plan complete, and all the guaranteed cash value will be available to you. Or, number two, you will die before completing the plan and your family will be guaranteed to receive the dollars to pay for your final expenses. Or, number three, you will quit somewhere along the way for reasons you can't foresee now and the plan will guarantee cash values for you to use without further cash outlay. So live, die, or quit. You and your family can't lose. Another great closing technique is the Ben Franklin Close. This is a simple closing technique that you can create on a blank sheet of paper in front of your prospect. Simply begin by drawing a simple T on the page and labeling the left side yes and the right side no on that T. Then continue by saying, we all know Ben Franklin was one of the wisest men in history. When he was faced with making a difficult decision, he drew a T just like this one. Ben then wrote on the left side all the reasons he should act on this decision. For instance, peace of mind for you and your family now, pays for your final expenses, pays off any creditors, and any other thing that may have come up while you're meeting with the client. Then say, once Ben listed all the yes reasons to make this decision, he then listed out any reasons not to under the no section. At this point, you should remain silent so the prospect has only positive reasons before them. Now let me give you some tips on closing the sale. First, always assume the prospect wants to buy from you. Second, sit on the same side of the desk or table as the prospect. Conduct the closing interviews in a private location that is free from any distractions. Involve the prospect in reviewing materials and making all the calculations. Also, collect and review all documents that are part of the cell. And use visual aids when appropriate. Also, summarize the benefits of your plan. And describe other products that you offer when the appropriate time presents itself. And then finally, always ask who they know that would benefit from becoming a member of Legacy Safeguard. Be sure to ask for referrals. We really hope that these simple closing techniques can help you be more successful while offering the Legacy Safeguard service and final expense coverage to your clients and the community that you serve.